Hi everyone, SRC TCG here, and today I'm going to be unboxing some 2009 Yu-Gi-Oh collector's tins. They weren't actually as hard to come by as I thought they may be, but yeah, it turns out they've got, still got tons of them everywhere. So, yeah, I got Power Tool Dragon and Ancient Fairy Dragon for the 5Ds. There's a uh, Power Tool Dragon, as you can see there, see the card through the tin. <clears throat> yeah, each one of these tins comes with two Ancient Prophecy booster packs, uh, two Crimson Crisis booster packs, one Rage in Battle booster pack, and 50 card sleeves. I didn't know about 50 card sleeves until I'd actually ordered them because I, I ordered 70 sleeves with it to sleeve them up, but oh well. It just means I've got 170 going now. Uh, which ones should I start with? Uh, I'll go Power Tool. Put that one out of the way. As you can see on the back there, it says what it comes with. Oh, it comes with partitions as well for the tin, which is cool. Yeah, this is the first tin. There's that beast. Nice little secret right there. It's only a limited edition ones, so it's not worth anything, but still a very nice card. I'm trying to get all the five dragons, so that'd be nice. I'm just gonna sleeve that one up a minute. Yeah, they are uh, time showdown sleeves. Not really a fan of the uh, time showdown and the pendulum stuff, but sleeves look quite cool. So I thought, why not? Just get that one in there. Right, let's get to these boosters. Yeah, it's really. Uh, Good deal for these boosters, in all fairness. What sleeves we got? Awesome, like bronze 5D sleeves. They're pretty cool, actually. Probably change out my, uh, probably change out my dragon deck for those ones because they look really awesome. That's nice, nice touch. And then obviously you've got the partitions for the tin. I'm not going to sort any of that stuff out now. I will do, but not now. All right. It's five boosters, the two Crimson Crisis, one Rage in Battle, two Ancient Prophecy. Yes, I uh, wouldn't actually mind getting it. If I got, if I got uh, the Ghost Rare Power Tool from that one, that'd be quite cool, but... My hopes aren't up because it is only a single booster. Likewise with the Ancient Prophecy one, in all fairness. And then you can get Red Dragon Archfiend Assault Mode, I believe, in this one, in Ghost Rare. Which would be nice to get. They've got, um, oh, you can get. I think you can get Card Guard Secret as well, actually. Well, I'm, actually, that might be Ancient Prophecy. You can get Card Guard Secret Rare. I think, but this one's got tons of Assault Modes in this Crimson Crisis. Hyper Psychic Blast would be a cool one as well. And uh, Colossal Fire. Just, just arrange them, hammer them, and back them. Right, I'll start with this one. Oh, let's get down. So we got anything? Morphtronic Magnum Bar, Spirit Burner. Once per turn, you can change the battle position of the equipped monster to defense position. When the equipped monster is returned from the field to the hand, and this card is in the graveyard, inflicts 600 damage to your opponent. If this card is in the graveyard, you can add it to your hand instead of conducting normal draw. Aegis of the Ocean Dragon Lord. All face up war monsters going to be struck with bass. Pretty cool. Armed Sea Hunter. We've got the ra a rare reinforced truth. 
special summon one level two or lower warrior type monster from your deck. You cannot converge your battle phases or anything out of this card. Ah, nothing. A white potem. If you control a face up tuna monster, this card cannot be destroyed by battle. When a face up tuna monster you control is destroyed by battle and sends a graveyard and puts 500 damage. Kind of got like a marshmallow type art on that one. God, I hate marshmallow. Battle of the Elements. Activate. Only while all monsters on the field are face up. Both players send monsters they control to the graveyard so they each, they each control only one attribute. Oh, that's similar to, um. Oh, is it goes in match? I think it's similar to, yeah. Destroy all the face ups, and trap cards on the field. Both players take damage equal to the total number of cards times 300. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> and the final card Infernity Beast. If this card attacks, we have no cards in your hand. Your opponent can activate any spell traps until after damage step. That's pretty cool. Let's go for a Crimson Crisis now. Come on, Assault Mode. Assault Mercenary. Descending Lost Star. Vengeful Servant. When the control of the equipment monster changes, inflict damage equal to its original attack. That's pretty cool. Shiroko the Dawn, Blackwing. Rare Assault Beast. You can discard this card to the graveyard, add Assault Mode, activate it from your deck. That's pretty cool. And Super Rare Turret Warrior. You can tribute one warrior type monster to special summon this card from your hand. If you do, it gains attack equal to the tribute monster's original attack. That's pretty cool. It's a nice looking card. That one down there. Indomitable Gladiator Beast. Target one Gladiator Beast you control against 500 attacks at the end phase when this card's in your graveyard. Blah blah blah. Blackwing Blagy. I'll take the rares out. Blackwing Bora the Spear. And Morphtronic Force Field. Negate the activation of a Scar Trap card that would destroy a face of Morphtronic Monster. I don't have any of those. But if I do, it's not many at all. Now for the single Raging Battle. Let's have a look at what I'll get in this one. Oh, Master Gig. Once per turn, you pay a thousand life points to destroy monsters your opponent controls, equal to the number of face up psychic monsters. Morphtronic Bind. While you control a face up Morphtronic monster, all level 4 high monsters your opponent controls cannot attack. Kind of like a gravity bind, then. There's a Morphtronic monster. While in the tap station, it gains 800 attack for each equip card. While in defense, 800 defense for each equip card. That's pretty cool. The that's a field spell, Ojama Country. Send one Ojama card from your hand to the graveyard. Special summon one Ojama monster from your graveyard. Oh, okay. And ooh, Ultra Wear Song Rin Dragon. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice actually. It's one of the ones I wouldn't mind again. That's really nice. This card cannot be destroyed by battle with a monster that has the same attack. When this card is tribute summoned by tribute in a dragon type monster, it gains attack equal to half attack of the tribute of dragon. Uh, tri what dragon? Yeah. During battle between this attacking card and a defense special monster whose defense is lower, inflict the difference. So basically, pierce the battle damage. That's a really nice card. Actually, I'm gonna sleeve that one up. I like that card. Now to the second Ancient Prophecy. Slyborg Doctor. Once per turn, tribute one Juno wants to do control to special summon from your grave with the same attribute and level. Okay. <coughs> Sunny Pixie. Armored Axe and Giga. That's quite cool for a psychic deck. Normal summon without tribute in. If it destroys an opponent's monster, you take damage equal to the damage. Special summon monster from your graveyard. 
Iron Core Luster, that's Koki Miru. <clears throat> so the rare is a Fortune Lady Fire. Attack and defense equal to its level times 200. And nothing else in that one. Put that one there. Tribute one Psychic Tech Monster that you control. Gain life points equal to Tribute Monster. The level times 300. That's pretty cool. Slip of Fortune. Activate new when your opponent monster declares an attack. Target the monster and negate the attack or remove from play the attack. Target monster until the next standard phase. Wow, it's not too bad. And once you control the struggle buttons in the graveyard, gain a thousand. It's quite a cool one there. Divine Dragon Aqua Bizarre. Once per turn, you contribute one of the war monster and select one continuous off field spell in your graveyard, turn to the top of the deck. And for the last pack of this tin, another Crimson Crisis. Tribute one assault mode monster and inflict damage to, your, to both players equal to its level times level times two hundred. Pretty sure they're like level like ten or twelve, something like that. A lot of damage anyway. Activate anyway control on assault mode, negate the activation of a spell trap or effect monster as effect, then destroy it. Seed cannon. Morphtronic mix up. And the rare is a flying fortress skyfire. This card cannot be normal summoned, only special summoned. With the effect of Summon Reactor SK. Summon card from the hands of David Destroy and card your opponent controls. And ah, oh, nothing else. Actually, I'm gonna go there. So return one black thing once you control to the deck, add black thing from your deck to your hand. Twin Sword Marauder. So about that. T Telekinetic Power. This is a good card for a psychic deck. If you want to get, a, get um, a tuner out. Verdant Sanctuary, when a face-up insect type monster is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, its controller can add an insect type monster with the same name as the destroyed monster from their deck to their hand. That wasn't too bad, I guess. I mean, the Strong Wind Dragon is a pretty nice card. Strong, yeah, Strong Wind Dragon is quite a nice card there. Right, let's do the other tin now. I'll just uh, pile these up. I'll probably sleeve up the uh, super rare in a bit. Thanks for watching my uh, 2009 Yu-Gi-Oh tin opening. And come back next week because we've got more Pokemon, more Yu-Gi-Oh, and of course random Wednesdays. Cheers.